Hey guys and welcome to the Tech Zone UK. In this video I'm going to be showing you a great uh, program or web application called Ninite. Now I have to do uh, a lot of, um, or I, I work as an IT engineer um, and a lot of it is to do with some uh, home music computers and when we have to do rebuilds and stuff it's really good to be able to put all the, the basic um, Windows software on things like Java, Flash, .NET Framework, um, whatever they might need so when they actually come to use um, their computer it's all there and ready for them. Now there's a great website called ninite.com that's n-i-n-i-t-e dot com as you can see there's the link just there and uh, basically this is what the actual program looks like now it's probably easier for me to um, show you what it does but some of the key features of what this work uh, does is it says no clicking next 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 Nanite fully automates the installers off screen no toolbars so Nanite automatically says no to the toolbars the other junk always up to date so Nanite will download all the up to date files no matter where they're from um, if you just run your Nanite installer again it will update all the apps to their latest versions which is really cool so it's basically like an all-in-one updater uh, no sign up 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems uh, Night works apps in your PC's language uh, faster for businesses um, RMMs, I don't know what they are uh, and has the offline mode as well so let's take a look at actually uh, how it works so first things first is you can see we've got different categories we've got web browsing, uh, browsers, messaging, media Runtimes, imaging, documents, security, file sharing, online storage, other utilities, things like that. So today I'm going to show you um, how to actually use this program and how you can download all the software. So when I do a rebuild at work, I'll tick things like Google Chrome, Firefox, Skype, iTunes, Klyte, um, Audacity. I'll tick all these. Um, other great ones, Picasa, that's an absolutely brilliant program there, um, Adobe Reader and Qt PDF. PDF Creator and Qt PDF are virtually the same thing, um, Malwarebytes, don't need torrenting, you, depending on the customer we can, obviously if they use Dropbox or Google Drive or anything like that, we can put that back on easily here. Um, if they're gamers and Steam, Google Earth is definitely one we put on there. Uh, Team Viewer, uh, what else do we put on there? Glary, great program. Uh, WinRise optional sometimes, and no, that's pretty much it on some of the builds that we put on. But uh, I think that's the right ones. Where are we? Yeah, that's right. So once you've selected all the programs that you want to have in the installer, all you do is you scroll down to the bottom here, and it says Get Installer. So we click on that. As you can see here, it shows you all the applications that you've downloaded. So it says this installer includes .NET Framework, Air, Dusty, Chrome, Qt PDF, Firefox, Flash, uh, Glary, Google Earth, blah, blah, blah. And you have the option to change the apps as well. But obviously we don't need to change the apps here. So all I do is I'm going to click on the download. If it didn't download, just hit on retry the download there. So we're going to click on that. And as you can see, it says John to run this file. So I'm going to hit yes. And this is preparing setup. And if the user account control comes up, just hit yes. And as you can see, it started to download Firefox and all the other applications that we would normally put on a, a PC or you know uh, all the standard builds. And like I said before, Nanite is. Um, absolutely brilliant because it doesn't put things like ads, it doesn't put um, all the uh, toolbars, it, it it has so many great little features to it um, and it's a completely great program. <laughs> um, so pretty much, um, I mean that's that's really it. If you need it, if you want to give them feedback, do because it's a great program and it works so well. And it automatically will download and install Firefox and do it all with these programs. So that's pretty much how Nanite works. So um, that's pretty much it really. So thank you very much for watching. If you've got any uh, comments, leave them below. If you enjoyed this video or found this tool useful, subscribe because then when I release new videos with new tools and tricks and things like that. 
you'll be notified um, and if you uh, again if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up or a like and that would be absolutely brilliant so thank you very much for watching guys and take care